Sandwich, your favorite podcast in the world, and we're back. With our cab, it's actually Casual Friday. It's Casual Friday. <laughs> this is our Casual Friday. This is Casual Friday for us. If you're listening, I'm so sorry. I'll describe it. We're all wearing our, Cowboy gear. our giddy Cowboy. up. Uh huh. Our giddy. Yeah, listen. say like this. Cowboy. 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 Ca- Cowboy. Because I'm a cowboy. I, uh, this wanted. is what I would wear if I was on Yellowstone. If they were like, it's Yellowstone. Oh, I look at it. Like, yes. <laughs> uh, it's, look, it's Beth and Jimmy. <laughs> Why do I gotta be Jimmy? He's honestly one of my favorite characters. I'm not I love lie. Jimmy. I love Jimmy so much. But why yeah. do I gotta be Jimmy? You gotta no, be you're Jimmy. more. You're more of a rip. <gasps> Thank you. Rip with the cowboy a hat gay on. Rip. A gay rip. Yeah. You broke gay back rip. rip. <laughs> <laughs> broke back mountain. Daniel said that last night. <laughs> he, he was like, "Do I look like rip?" And then he I said, said that. No, and, and he said, "You're giving broke back." <laughs> yeah, you're giving broke back mountain. And I'm like. I am. Ty, okay, so Ty's cowboy hat is a real Stinson cowboy hat that we bought in Wyoming for like three hundred fucking dollars. No, yeah. wait, what's Stinson? It's a brand? um, it's like the it's the cowboy brand. Yeah, like I'm sure on Yellowstone they wear Stinsons. Mine's from wanna, Amazon. Let's do a switcheroo. I want to see what Stetson. that would look like on you. Mine's on from it's, Amazon. It's Stetson. And you're supposed to touch them like this. Yeah, don't be. <gasps> they warned don't us be messing up my three hundred dollar hat, or oh I will God, wait, burn your two dollar hat. Yeah. Okay, it was 10. <laughs> wow, the hats look great both ways. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling the white hat. You look in the white hat. I like How it. do I look in the brown one? You like Indiana Jones. I feel Jones. like I look you better do. in the white one. I like the- The brim is too small for you. You're more of a big brim kind of guy. <laughs> Tyler? Shade. What? You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> 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 no, literally, it's like, I, I completely agree with you though. Like, I'm, oh, wait, this is how they do it. Yeah. yeah. That's why, so they don't mess up their hat. I when I was watching Yellowstone, like they, they put like the hat on the bed, and it's like bad luck. Oh yeah, you that, like scene. And they told the him, bed. "Do not set your hat down flat in the store when he bought it." Really? Did they time? Yeah, because it'll like morph the kind of flatten the out the bill. The bill. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, if you own a business, you're going to want to know what Squarespace is. They have websites, online stores, marketing tools, analytics, and so much more. It's an all-in-one platform to build your online presence and to run your business. So they have tons of different options, a lot of different tools to use. One of them that, that I like is they have the email campaign. So they help you create powerful email content that matches your website with your existing product blog posts, logos, everything can be added in. They also have analytics, which are very helpful to gain insights on who's visiting your website, what they're interacting with, what content's working for your website, traffic sources, time, everything to help you make decisions for your brand. Another thing I like, you can do all different kinds of things such as mobile optimized websites. So your websites are optimized for the mobile phone, which is where most people are shopping nowadays and the content automatically adjusts so it looks great on any device. So you guys can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash full to save 10% off your first purchase of a website domain. I, um... I got a lot of questions on Instagram where I got this. Mm-hmm. So I went, we went to see Casey Musgrave. Yes, that's why we're actually doing this. Actually. Why we're in, in this get up gear. We literally went to see her last night. I did not. Yeah. No, right. He did not. <laughs> I would love to. I love me some in Musgraves. Theory, in theory. No, she's amazing. It's gonna be now slow. for concerts, I go all out. Like I do. You do. I show up. You take it seriously. I take it very serious. I, I did too, actually. Yeah, I, like, you I was did in, amazing. I was in Cowboy Giddy. He was giddied up. I, I giddy. really loved Cowboy. your outfit. Um, but anyways, they were selling the, I want it specifically like a very dramatic ass yeah. feathered rental hat. And they were selling them for like three, $200 on Etsy, like two fifty, almost 400 for some. No. Yes. For handmade like this. Yeah. So I literally said oh. nine ninety nine Amazon, twelve ninety nine Amazon, hot glue gun. Let's go bitch. And that's all it was. That's all it was. And, and I, you made it yourself. I, and I enjoy making stuff like this. So it was yeah. fun. You're like you really good like with that stuff. When you're done with it. I know, right? What's well, Laura Lee's hat? Ooh, it's going to have a it. ring of makeup. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this. It yeah. makes it work more. Does it? The scraped off makeup. Yeah. Oh, yeah like this. Nasty also, yeah, there. Tyler's like here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on camera today, guys. By the way, Tyler's on camera today. We forgot Woo. to announce our special guest. Yeah. But is he a special guest? He's just part yeah. of it now. Oh, yeah. you're, you're just part of it. You're just part of it. But it's funny because we get questions all the time like, get Tyler on the screen now well I'm baby here. you got him. actually ty is very educated on a lot of the rapid the fires topics. we have today today's rapid fire today's rapid fire baby today's rapid fire things going on up in this day in so that's why we're doing it by the way my top is um from my new year's eve night <laughs> I, lo- I love how you're just like in feather mode right now well i was like when will i ever get an excuse to wear this shit out again right 
the podcast. The podcast. Feathers was, are really in right now. Feathers. Oh, are they? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. How do you know? I just know. Mm-hmm. I know things. <laughs> and so, yeah. So that's kind of what I know about these things and rhinestones too. So anyway. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> they are. Everything is in. Currently. Well, thank God. Mm-hmm. Right. The, the fact that you're literally rhinestone and feathered. Feathered out. It's I perfect. honestly, I don't like when people stare at me or to pull attention on myself unnecessarily. If that wouldn't happen, I would wear this every single day because that's what the inner me wants to do. But I would right. be so uncomfortable with the amount of people, people looking at you. Yes. I get like that too. I get very like. But I would love to wear this every day to the grocery store. Or I know. Wherever. I know. That's a YouTube video. I should. Oh my God. You should. Like dress crazy. Tyler's just going along and she's recording the whole situation. No, so he, he wears will this. <laughs> you guys are just like this. You're like, where y'all from? We're from Alabama. Where y'all from? Everybody dressed in Alabama <laughs> every single day. Every single day. This is how we dress. Every day. Every day. Can we have an accent this entire episode? My name's episode? Judy, and I'm from the gym. <laughs> you better <laughs> stop. Right. Oh my god, Judy, 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 <laughs> Daddy, 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 I, Daddy. That's my favorite. Daddy. I saw some comments on the last episode that they're like, "We watch Righteous Gemstones." Oh, thank God. And I'm like, I'm proud of you guys. You look like Righteous Gemstones when he went to Texas. <laughs> Tyler's really reading me this whole episode, isn't he? <laughs> Tyler it's, stays reading me. He's staying reading me constantly. Oh my but god, that's true love. It's like if I'm it reading is. you both, like it's like because I love you. If Manny gets read too much, I'll give him lines to read other people. It's true. Sometimes was, mine are we fucking just, dark, though. I some the problem. Okay, this you guys. We were just talking about this the other day. Uh-huh. I was like, Laura. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a setting and everyone's like coming for me. Mm-hmm. And the problem with me is that like I, I'll take something too far, mm-hmm. and I have like a bad. I have a hard time being like. I'm in the either too nice and doesn't care or like I'm like being hurtful. Fuck you, I'll kill your mother. Literally. So I'm like, I'm like trying to find this middle ground of reading. Yeah. Like, you know, because like in Drag Race, it's like reading's fundamental and it's like kitschy and fun. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm going to start going for the jugular immediately. So I'm like, no, I have to like just Re- be sweet. Reel it in. I just got to be sweet. You got to be sweet. But Laura's teaching me to be better. I give. Him I did some, the other day. I gave him some good lines. Who did you I read, read? I'm not going to say who. Yeah, you can. But what I did you read say? them. <sighs> what did he say? You don't um, know. No, because if I if I say they might be listening. You would know. Oh, and they would know. And then they would know that I read them. Wow. And it was really cool. I felt very powerful. And did you hurt their Proud feelings? Of you. No. There you but go. that's the point. Like you're not trying to hurt their feelings. You're just trying to like I mean, give you them a little them shit a little back. Bit. But I'm just trying to give them shit back. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm like, if you're constantly like shitting on me, I was like, let me do a little like spicy a little, back. A little, a little back. sting. There's a, yeah, a little, little, and there was, and there was. I can tell. And I'm like, <laughs> I like to be read, but I do with the gays. I handle myself very well. You are literally Lars a witty, gay though. person. I'm a, really I am a witty person, mm-hmm. but also and quick. I am quick witty, but I've also hung around gays for a long time. So you know. that, do you feel like that's inappropriate to say I've hung around gays for a long time? Not at all. Okay. Why would that be inappropriate? I don't think it is, but sometimes I have to question myself. Oh, that's true. It's like almost like, because we are in like a very politically correct exactly, world. Exactly. So I, I, wanna... I, don't, I wouldn't think you saying like, oh, I hang around gay people a lot. Okay. That's not like. I do. And something. I feel like I have to give a little credit because you obviously pick up a little bit. So like yeah. I've picked up some quickness and wittiness, but as natural as a human being. You kind of have to be though. In a, in a setting yeah. when you're with all gays. You'll be Honey, fine for you're your gonna life get, out You're going to get roasted, so you have to start firing back. Oh, I'm ready. So now I'm, like, firing back. I throw darts. Pew! Pew! <laughs> <laughs> Let's read Tyler next. All Please right. do. I'm Go like, ahead. we have glasses on. How can you read perfection? <laughs> he said, Reading how can you read the... perfection? You did not just say that. It's Here. opposite day. It's Oh, See, look how quick Laura is. Oh. It's opposite oh. day. Wow. Burn, baby, burn. Sick burn. I'm yeah. just kidding. Sick burn. <laughs> She's like, I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> rather <laughs> so your glue. Whatever I say. Bounces off me and sticks to you. We're Are done. we five? We're done. <laughs> You're, We're done. done. You're done. You're done. Okay. Casey Musgraves, how was that? Honestly, it was magical i think so because she's such a good singer i will say i was expecting more production value i was expecting way more she's selling out shows why is the production value not more well I, that's what i'm wondering i'm like is it her what is it called like her production her, her people? record label whoever's putting on her tour mm-hmm. um whatever the budget is for that would be the production value which granted she is a newer artist but she like was on the main stage at coachella when the yeah. last time they had coachella because me and aaron went and saw her uh-huh so that's big yeah and that was years ago so i wonder i'm like why like i was expecting more, more. i guess like there was like not that i mean i get it because it's like the songs are slower so she's not gonna have like backup dancers and all that stuff i was just expecting more of like a show i guess you could say we've been to like shows where there's an insane production like katie perry insane. ariana ariana like crazy intense ones where i'm like okay so i'm just used to that kind of production we need Drake. casey to have more 
We want more for her. We want more for Casey. Ty, do you want more for Casey Musgraves? I, of course, want more for Casey Musgraves. As you should. Ty's friend, he's kind of a, I don't want to say man whore, but I don't know. Which one? Hmm. Are you talking about? I know which one. I know which one. I know which one. You actually know him almost as well as the rest of us. I literally think we met at the same time. We won't name names. But. but I love this person. Where are you going with this story? He was at a party. Because he was in the same room as her? Yeah. And he was like, like, she was so fine. I'm like, really? Her body is sickening. Sick. I literally was like, is she going to be BL? Sick. It's sick. It's sick. It's real good. It's really I don't think really I've good. ever seen her. What does she look like? I she's beautiful. To... She's honestly really stunning. And I, the, the fact that she's like a gay icon. Yeah, she is. She's like turned into a literal gay icon. She is. It was funny because I was there with Daniel. And we were like in the pit. And like when camera roll came on, he was like, Aww. it was very serious. Because, you know, like, like it's great for like, I feel like Casey's. Her most recent album, especially, is very like a heartbreak mm -hmm. soundtrack. You know, yeah, it's the heartbreak but, like, soundtrack. You know, going through a divorce that she went through. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. Isn't she uh, stunning? Yeah, like shockingly beautiful. It almost like gives a little bit of share. Oh, hundred percent. With left flamboyant. It's giving share. It's giving share. It's giving share. Are you new here? Are you new here? Are you new here? <laughs> I can't help you guys. I'm like. I like her. Okay. Not her newest album, but her album before that, the best. Yeah. And there's one or two songs on her really early album that I have downloaded that I love that aren't very popular, but they're good. So she also writes a lot of, I don't know, she might write all of her own music, but she writes a lot of it and I relate to it. And it's like that little bit of country music, which I do like. I only like um, older classic country music or stuff I listened to growing up. None yeah. of the newer stuff really. Yeah. Not really into, but I love but Casey. Her. But Casey Mama. She uh, is the it girl. She is. She She's really is character. that girl. She is. She is. And she was so chill. She was so like chill and calm and just very vibey yesterday. Because yeah. she doesn't have like banger pop songs. Mm -mm. Like that really it's intense. Like like, they energy. really are country music. It's like, it's country, like country pop, country. but it is leans more on country. Yeah. Than country pop. So it's like. Is that what you guys were right. singing earlier? Yes. When, right now? That was her. That was her. High, high horse. High that's like honestly one of my favorite songs of all. Th that's actually what got me into Casey. Yeah. Manny actually texted me that song. And was like, hey, listen to the song. It's really good. And I was like, well, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> and I love her. And I love her. No, it was great. Honestly, I really had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Was there anything else like this week that you like love? What did you? Uh, Tyler, Tyler what did you do this week? Oh, yeah. Oh, Talk I went. You have to, you have to I tell I went you. to the Genesis Invitational, which is a Gideon? prestigious golf tournament in Los Angeles, California. I want him to tell them the prices of this country that's what cup. I need to hear. well I need. it's like this is the probably the most expensive if not one of the most expensive country clubs in los angeles and not in the nation well maybe in the nation could be i mean it's los angeles everything's expensive here i feel like a lot of things are top of the line in los angeles did I did, totally. did we tell Manny how much it was? You yeah they tell oh, them yeah. and it should I was be gonna, gonna, I was gonna have you guess but oh. it, honestly I wouldn't have guessed that much it no, for your no. your yearly dues is not bad. It's only fifty grand a year for a country club. Like that's not. But what's the point of a country club? Yeah, tell them. Do? Tell them what a country club is. Well, it it depends. Some some are different, but like they have golf, they have tennis. It's like so you, you just can, play sports. You can like pay it's for like friends. Sports. It's like yeah, it's it's usually for like older people. So it's like a fraternity. Like, yeah, it's a fraternity. It's a fraternity for like. Usually Elderly. old rich white men. Got it. Most got it. Got it. Most got it. times. Most of the time. Yeah. So huh. this one fifty grand a year, but the initiation fee is a cool three hundred grand. Three? And even if you have the money to get into this country club, Listen you to have this. to have recommendations from someone that's already inside. Yeah. Talk about Mark. Wahlberg. It sounds like a cult yeah. to me. It sounds very it culty. culty. I don't like right? it. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It sounds fucked up to me. Like I, I heard. I think it was the so it's called the Riviera Country Club. But I think Mark Wahlberg was trying to get into it. And even he had to have recommendations. He can't. So at least it's like an equal playing opportunity. It is. Crazy, it is. Like right? they don't fuck around. They but don't do give you, a fuck well, who you, you are. You say equal playing opportunity. It's not like usually these things are a little racially driven. Oh, the you're right. Club, they can be. Yeah. Oh. I, I feel yeah. that. Like, like especially. Honestly, the way you're describing it, that I'll be honest, like that was one of the first things I thought. I was like, it doesn't sound inclusive in, inclusive any, way, in any way shape or form usually the especially the the very old ones the prestigious ones Oof. are not very racially accepting i that's but, fucking gross or like a gay right? nothing well like, they not like, at all uh, there's a jewish country club mm. in like hollywood or something like that they created their own country club because they could not get into that's fucked up like, that's and that shouldn't be allowed i think that's but, so wrong but they were just hosting the tournament there yeah, I'm not saying that this one's like this. I have no idea if it is. I'm oh. just saying in general, that's, they how, have that they that's how like country yeah. clubs, reputation. they have that reputation. Not that's all of them terrible. are like that, but some are. 
But yeah, so this one, they host this tournament every year. It's called the Genesis Invitational. So it's a golf tournament. And me and my buddy Jason went and it was He a saw lot of Tiger fun. Woods not play, see, but he gave the award. Yeah. That's so he, iconic. He, he's like the the host of this specific golf tournament. Tiger is? Mm-hmm. Every That's year. That's iconic. Yeah, super cool. Also like the fact Okay, do I think about country clubs too? I can't get over this. Tell so me. country clubs, why do, when they're that expensive and that rich and that like intense, uh-huh. why do I feel like it's very like at nighttime, they'll like steal someone and like make them run and they'll shoot them. <gasps> oh my god! Like a, like a hunting. <gasps> Jesus, that's what I imagine. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I mean, I might be watching too much stuff. <laughs> Everything a lot of TV about ready. like, but it gives me that culty super vibe. Super rich, have to have an invitation, yes. pay these fees. Shit, don't sound right to me. It yeah. sounds very. Anytime things are like that, I feel like. There's something bad going on. I just like do. some kind of like blood I can't oath, some like I weird can't shit. Help it. Very I, like Illuminati. Yes. Very that. Yeah. It feels very like you guys well, are going into the like, forest in robes. It's the elite of the elite that, that go there to these countries. Well, clubs. according to TV shows, I've watched the elite of the elite a lot of times are nasty. They always have. They're into the sickest shit. In the sickest. That's fucking why I'm like, shit. oh my god! I bet like they could literally like, steal someone, traffic someone, literally have them run out into the forest and sh- like someone they're hunting for them. That's what I imagine like country clubs to be like. All right. Well, we took it to all. We took a dark turn. I might take it to a dark turn. I just went to a golf tournament and that took a really dark turn. I took it a little farther than it needed to go, but that's what I imagine. Yeah. Truly. Horrifying. Should we take a break? We should take a break. Let's take a break. I think we should take a break. Thank you so much to Pros for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, there is no one size fits all solution when it comes to hair care. A product that works wonders for curls might work not so great for straight hair that can make it potentially limp and greasy, things like that. So thanks to Personalized Pros Routine, I can honestly say I've never been more in love with my hair when it comes to hair care. So what it is is you go online and you take an in-depth consultation quiz and they ask you different questions about your eating habits, your damage to your hair, what you're looking for in your shampoo, conditioner, or your hair products. So they can customize that for you and figure out what works best for your hair. Do you want it shiny or softer, fuller, longer, stronger? Whatever you need, you're going to fill that out in the quiz and then they will create your shampoo conditioner based off your needs what i love about it too that's so cool for me so for example i have thinner hair yeah and i want more fullness in my hair so they literally created a system that would work for me specifically and where i lived and all this kind of stuff what i would eat things like that so for me i actually do notice a difference i feel like my hair is fuller after i take a shower so they have a pretty cool thing if you are not 100% positive that it's the best hair care you've had. They'll take the products back, no questions asked. I love that. And they have a little deal for you guys. So Pros is the healthy hair regimen with your name all over it. Take our free in-depth hair consultation. Get 15% off your first order today. Go to pros.com slash full. That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash full for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15% off. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, if you own a business, you're going to want to know what Squarespace is. They have websites, online stores, marketing tools, analytics, and so much more. It's an all-in-one platform to build your online presence and to run your business. So they have tons of different options, a lot of different tools to use. One of them that, that I like is they have the email campaign. So they help you create powerful email content that matches your website with your existing product blog posts, logos, everything can be added in. They also have analytics, which are very helpful to gain insights on who's visiting your website, what they're interacting with, what content's working for your website, traffic sources, time, everything to help you make decisions for your brand. Another thing I like, you can do all different kinds of things, such as mobile optimized websites. So your websites are optimized for the mobile phone, which is where most people are shopping nowadays, and the content automatically adjusts so it looks great on any device. I personally love it because of all the different tools it has, especially the social sharing tool. Um, It has configuring buttons, and it lets visitors share content on Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, and so much more. It's so easy to use, very user-friendly, and very helpful, especially if you own a business so be sure and check it out we have a special offer so you guys can go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash full to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website domain and we're back <laughs> <laughs> you didn't let manny take a break <laughs> 
Manny, you got places to be. Let me sip a water. No, Manny, you got places to be. Chug Where are you going, Manny? Manny, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you going to London, Manny? I can't say why I'm going. Oh, why not, Manny? I, I don't. I feel like he I can't, can't say, but I can. Manny's Laura going. Lee. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to uh, be part of like the show. Uh, I'm excited say. I was for be you. Part of it in some capacity, yeah. When you so can say, we'll talk about. Yeah, we'll talk about it when I go. But um, I it happened really, really, really quickly. So it's like I literally leave tonight to London, Is and I come back on Friday. Are you dressed? Like Is it this? yellow song? <sighs> No. Are you in character right now? I'm literally like the <laughs> I'm the extra long lost brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm a Dutton. This, hey is, y'all. this is what I would wear to my audition. <laughs> y'all. I'd be like, I am auditioning for a party. I'm auditioning <laughs> for <laughs> Manny Dutton. <laughs> <laughs> Be Lord uh, I mean, Lord Dutton. Oh, and Ty Dutton. I love like Jamie, Casey, and Beth. Like their names just go well with Dutton as last name yeah. too. Yeah. It just like flows. Mm. But yeah, I went to London like literally tonight. So I have to like get all this shit done. Yeah. As a cowboy. As a cowboy. On the steel horse I'm I ride. Excited. <laughs> On a steel a horse, horse I ride. ride. I want, want it. it. Wow, wow, this has really got our cowboy roots Honestly, going. it really has. It's like, it's, I'm a it's making me act up. <laughs> I can it's be a cowboy act- too. I don't give a fuck. I feel different when I wear this hat. He acts I different. I feel different. When he put this on in Wyoming, he acted like he was one of them. And I'm like, dude, we live I in was. LA. We live in LA. Literally. I tried to go to the cowboy he bar. Walked, didn't, he, oh, he didn't you tell me he wouldn't take it off too? Like he, he was like, he would not take off the hat. It was fused to his head. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We went into a store and a woman, like an older woman with a cowgirl hat, was running the register. And he walks in, he looks at her and he goes, I really like your cowgirl hat. And then she goes, Thank you. I like yours too. He goes, thanks. I was fishing for that. <laughs> no way. I was waiting for you to say it was coming that. I was like, Ty, what are you doing? She laughed. She, she thought laughed. It was funny. She thought it was very funny. I was. I told her. Do they her, call it a she cowboy was so hat confused. or just a hat? Because all the cowboys wear it. So it's a cowboy hat. hat. It's a cowboy hat. I think it's or a cowboy, cowboy hat. hat. Cowboy. I did tell Cowboy. the woman Cowboy. that we live in LA and he just got that hat and now he's acting like this. Yeah, now he's I acting did. Full. I told her. There was this video <laughs> that you posted on his fucking story that it was like, this is me. And it was like a guy that took off his hat. Oh my like, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not die? And I'm like, I that's died. literally Tyler. Takes off Laura, like, take off the hat. Fine. Guys, I had to <laughs> fight. I had here. to fight that hat off his head. <laughs> and it's finally back on. It's so cute. He can be active up with the hat too. He has like a cute too. spot in his man cave where he hangs it. Hanging on the wall. Mm-hmm. He put a nail in our wall for it. Just for the hat. Just mm-hmm. for the fucking hat. Yep. So that's what you're like. I actually need to be on camera today because I'm wearing the hat. Yeah. Honestly, so that it was the real reason. Enough. To it needs to be yeah, seen. I, it needs to be seen. And this was more, okay. So yeah, it was three hundred dollars, but it was more of like a um, personality. He bought a pers- souvenir. Thank yeah, you. Souvenir. I was gonna say he token. bought a personality trait. Was, yeah, honestly, <laughs> I, one unlocked in your fucking brain. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, and every time cowboy. I turn it on, every time I put it on, it unlocks. It unlocks his personality. Okay, lock and key. Lock You're like, this is my key. cowboy key. <laughs> yeah, he I puts love it on. that. He's a new person. All right, so rapid fire. You guys want me to shoot the first? Well, let's topic? shoot out the first load. I kind of want to talk about the one Tyler knows most about. Kind of first. I okay, too, because I was. I know here. the most. Well, well, do you know the most? I, like let me give you the headliner. Headline. TikToker's dad murders oh, yeah. her stalker. Yeah, that's crazy. That might be the literal. <laughs> title of this episode Ooh, y'all this got real this story it is really dark i'm actually shocked i knew the cliff notes ty read and got into the full story which changed the whole story for me so yeah, i want 100%. him to take the floor and explain i agree well so basically what had happened was this girl had a, a stalker and her friends were selling information to the stalker yeah, they were selling like. Let's like, give the it, ages. I, so the uh, girls she, were around fifteen. She was fifteen, yeah. So fifteen year old, I think the, so, the stalker was old, eighteen. Selling fifteen year old stuff. Yeah, so they were selling the fifteen year olds like information, like a, her phone number is what they said was sold to this guy, and probably pictures. I think is what they said as well, just of like her face though. Right. Um. But so he contacts her and. I guess they start talking like I don't know what t- type of relationship it was, but mm-hmm. he asked to pay for pictures of her, which is of her face. OK. And apparently like her family knew that this was happening and gave her the OK, which is kind of weird. Like gave her the OK to like sell a picture of her face to this guy, which is very like like you're inviting very weird vibes. That's and, vibe. And, that's and really that's, weird vibes. that's very strange. Like I would if Aaron said that I would not 
but like, You're like no, that's weird. Yeah, that's so weird. Like, and, why are you? And Aaron's because 18, so imagine in, 15. but in my mind, if if he wants to buy pictures of your face, he's gonna want to buy pictures of other stuff. More, it's like yeah. it's like that's like the you're gateway. Just gonna, yeah, that's the gateway. It's a gateway so drug. Apparently, that's what happened. So after he bought this picture of her for I think three hundred dollars. Oh my god! Right? Um, but then he starts asking for boob and butt pictures. Naturally, of course. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that. what did you expect? It's going to escalate. Just stalker. That. Yeah, it escalates even further. So she blocks him on everything, probably mm. by the wishes of her parents, which great. Um, yeah, and he starts sending Finally. her money on Venmo, like to unblock him, and she won't. He comes to her house. I, he, he must have got the information from her friends or something like that. Isn't he what eighteen kind of years old? <laughs> yeah, I think he's eighteen. The guy's a kid. He's That's an eighteen crazy. year old. Yeah. Like essentially, me. could be in high school too. This isn't like yeah. a grown man. Yeah. I mean, at, you're an adult, eighteen, but I mean, he's young. He's still mentally young. Yeah. So he goes to her house with a shotgun, blasts the front door, shoots the lock, like gets the front door open. I don't know if there's like some sort of like any what took place there, but he wind up leaving. I think the dad might have chased him away. Like, yeah, like like yo, you gotta get out of the house. Yeah, so I, I, he wind up leaving. Um, but the dad, the ex cop too. Oh, so, you know he's got guns in the house. So yeah. he went back in the house, got his gun. Oh yeah. And the guy came back to the house with the gun. What in the Why? hell? So the dad shot him. I don't know, like. Who knows? Was there standoff? Okay, first of all, the guy asked for being shot. Yeah, for 100%. sure. Like, no doubt. Um, unfortunately, but let me tell you something. If you're 18 year old, if you're 18 years old and you're already taking a shotgun and blowing in someone's front door, Issues. if you got away with that, baby, there Issues. ain't no time before you're gonna murder someone. Yeah, crazy. He, de I mean, like, he, and he's already like obsessed with someone. Like, <sighs> there's already a lot of signs that are just oh, red flag yeah. flagging. Yeah. Red, red flags, flags are, are flagging. flagging. Good flagging. on the dad for you know. But, protecting his daughter, but 100%. I mean, hindsight obviously is 2020. You don't want to like be selling your pictures. Like, you wouldn't expect somebody to come to your house with a shotgun. No, that's but, like like the farthest reach pus right. possible. Just, I have to wonder, were they desperate for money? <sighs> yeah, you never I know. I mean, that could, I mean, I'm sure as like as a parent too, if they, let's say they're, they are desperate for money or whatever, and that like, oh, if it's literally getting paid $300 for a photo where you can literally get one for free on Instagram. Right. They probably have thought like, oh, it's oh, not no. like that big of a deal. Yeah. You I know would, what I mean? I, just in my brain though, I would assume that it's going to escalate. I would too. I, 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 mean, so I, I can definitely, like I have been very, very on my own for a long time. I've been very, very broke during those times mm -hmm. and not during those times. I would definitely sell someone during those times pictures of my face and feet. Yeah, for sure. for sure, especially at such a young age when you're stupid and you don't realize like the repercussions that become. But like you as a that. parent, oh, being, no, no, being no, no, Aaron's no, no. guardian, you'd be like oh, her no. at 15 years old and she comes to you and says a guy wants to <gasps> me to sell him nope. a picture of my face. I'd be like, Aaron, ask them, can they have a picture of my face? If we broke, <laughs> right. if we broke, broke, yeah. <laughs> can we do mine? <laughs> but it's just because like in general, it's just like a very weird thing. Like yeah. anyone buying photos of you is weird. Right. Yeah. Like what? what are you doing? This isn't an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> like investing. i just i just don't i just don't get it like i i, I think it could just it just can escalate so yeah. quickly that it's like there's no point in even bringing that kind of energy in there bottom yeah. line like you never know exactly you cannot trust people you never know mm -mm. that's crazy though. honestly but if i was a dad i would have done the same thing like yeah it's oh, you're, yeah. if you're showing it to someone's fucking house with a shotgun you're asking to be shot not even just with Period. it you already pulled the trigger on mm -hmm. the front door so it's like honestly showing up in general is you're, even without a gun you're asking for it you're right oh exactly. yeah like, oh, honestly, at the house. Were, they, were they in florida they were in naples florida so naples florida. oh it's not like they're even like in LA. Yeah, no, they're no. in the gun laws are different. Wait, in I was Florida. gonna say, are they different? In yeah, Florida? yeah, yeah, totally. Especially since he shot their front door. I think he like was probably. I would happening. say the dad was definitely in his rights. Oh, for, for sure. No, her. for sure. I mean, you can't like crazy. Um, unload this a weapon, or you can't even go in somewhere armed. Crazy story. You can't do that. That's so scary too. Just like in general, like the whole thing is really freaky to me. It's really, really it's crazy. Like, because at first when I heard the story, I just heard that he protected his daughter. That's and I was what like, I thought. this is so like, great. Okay. And then Ty unloaded the whole story. I was like, oh my God. I didn't know it was that far. I just saw like the, the, like, the little brief like, of it. It was dark. And I was like, oh, so it like took a really dark turn. It took a dark turn. I thought it was literally just a random guy just showing up to the house being like, hey. And the dad just got freaked out and shot him. Uh -uh. This turned like completely different. Okay, wait. We have another story, which it's not similar, but it is like in that genre of stalker 
craziness. So you guys have requested, thank you so much for requesting, the Tinder Swindler. The teeny I don't know teeny. anything about this. Okay, All so right. Tinder Swindler guys. is basically this guy who's a huge con man. Yes. A huge con artist who has been conning women out of money for like years. And he started using so, uh, dating apps mm -hmm. to lure women in that had a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And he would finesse this luxurious lifestyle on his social media so the women would think he's loaded. Yep. So they're loaded with money. And was so he it's good like, looking? No. I personally do not think he was good looking. I don't though. either. Interesting. I'm literally like, but the thing is, I don't even know if it's about just the good looks. It's like the lifestyle people have too. A, people have a lifestyle that turns people hot. You know what I mean? Like they like that lifestyle. It's what they're the looking lavishness. for. The lavishness. And then everybody's taste is different. So some women probably thought he was hot. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Because I'm just like, yeah. if he's but in swindling general, these I, rich women, you would think these rich women would be looking for like a hot guy. Well, or, yeah, they, I mean, or they're looking for a successful guy. But and he, okay. looked he looked really successful mm -hmm. on his social media, even though he wasn't. And that was some of his way of getting these women to talk to him because some of the women wanted like, him. Oh, uh, I'm sure they can relate in some way. Cause yeah. it's like, oh, you're successful. Da, da, da. Like, I'm sure the pool gets smaller and smaller and smaller as you become more successful. So yeah. you can only imagine like they're probably like wanting affection and wanting love, all that stuff. But the gag is too, is the fact that he would lie to them about Let's say anything like, oh, like people are after me. Like I need money. Like my accounts are frozen. I need you to wire me a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so they would literally take loans out to give him. Have they met of him? Thousands. Like they yes, had, this is dating. Yeah. They've been dating. dating. This yes. Is like, yeah. So this dating. is like when they're already in a full blown dating relationship, and he's like, my accounts are frozen. Like I need a hundred thousand dollars. And so he would do this to constant women all over the place. And he's let's say swindled about in the last what five six years, almost ten million dollars. Is, yeah, that's what it Jesus. said. 10 million. And what's horrible is this guy has gotten in trouble for so much stuff besides this. Like just countries. a con man in general. He different is a, in different countries. He mm -hmm. did it through Europe, a bunch of different countries. He's done a bunch of different tricks of the trade mm -hmm. and different things with social media to con people. I mean, he is a literal con man. And they finally nailed his ass mm -hmm. and gave him 15 years, which everybody was like, no, that's not enough. 15 months. 15 months. He's in prison right now. Stayed. No, and then it gets worse. And then he got out because of COVID. He got out. He was only in there for five. So his punishment for all uh, this, all this was five but months. But the gag is though, really, like technically, they gave him money of their own free will. Yeah, okay. like he's not forcing money out of them. They he gave it to him, them, but he but tricked them. Technically, you can't like tricking them is not like I don't think illegal, illegal. in that way. Yeah. So he tricked them out of money, but technically, it's like, well, is he that preys illegal? On the vulnerable. They yeah, they're vulnerable, and they gave him money, and he took it. Yeah. So what did he go to prison for then? I think so. He had like, he got in trouble in like a different country for like same thing, kind of like swindling, but in more of like a legal capacity. And that's how they, they like finally caught him for something. Yeah. Rather than being like just. So now they just put him on blast on Netflix and made a documentary. Exactly. exactly. Because, and they said that that Good. has helped the situation so much. Tenfold. Tenfold. This is what really changed the situation mm -hmm. was the documentary because they said this guy, even though he's banned from every dating app yep. out there, he still is able to make fake accounts and get on. Mm -hmm. But because everybody knows about this guy now, he gets reported. They said so quick now because and his accounts get deleted, but he like tries different stuff still to this day on social media to con people i know so you guys and like his like comments like will be like the comments will literally be like you need to turn yourself in like crazy shit like yeah oh and now and apparently he's doing like this like teaching people how to like like a, like a what's it called when you like pay for an online service oh like an online course like or coaching. whatever he's yeah like teaching people like oh, like a master class, oh, master class. Hell yeah. no. and like finance hell oh wow no. oh yeah wow. that's who you want to learn yeah so now it's like doing that and like that's like another again i i think a huge con so people have to like be aware that's like, dude, you can't like. I'm not. Listen, I haven't dated online, so I really shouldn't say much. Right, but right. I, I will say this piece: if you are talking to someone online or through um, a dating app, so you're not going to know much besides the information they give you, which hello could be just full of shit. I think you should, if you plan on going on a date or a few dates or getting close to, I think you should do your investigations. At that point, I'm sorry. I just, well, especially or like, now. Or like the stop but see, the thing like, is... Like, shit's so easy to lie now. People lie so much. Like, people is, use your face all the time yeah. for dating ass. People have used mine. I'm like, I've really, you face. idiot? I, like, literally. It happens. Yeah, catfish. But the thing is, well, I feel like a lot of people do the investigating, but they do it on their social media. Yeah, and they're lying so across they're all lying the boards. So across all social media, then, like, how are they going to do a deep dive investigation? If they don't know... He was using a different name, dude. Oh, my God. Have you ever been swindled? 
I've uh, never been swindled. But I would never in my million years pay for someone to girl, like, do something. Girl, as soon yeah. as you said I need a hundred thousand like, oh, dollars, no. you gonna see about Deuce. a dust trail. Uh huh. I wonder how a long slime trail. We need to watch a documentary. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I'm down to watch the documentary, oh, but it's me gonna too. piss me off. I but tell you. Like, I, 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 the thing is, like, I feel for the women, though, honestly, because like, like you're, if you think you're getting into something for something, and it ends up being completely not that, it's like it's sad, and they probably were like truly like in love, and that's why they did it. Yeah. I wonder how long they were dating though, because to be that head over heels to give somebody a couple hundred grand. We've well, been doing it for years, so it had to obviously be like for a long time. Okay, but like, think was he about dating it? multiple women at once? Oh, I don't know, maybe. I'm sure that he seems. Totally he seems like he might would have. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Wow. Yeah, he worked them for all they're worth, honey. Imagine like, and the thing is, it wasn't even like from like their accounts that he was taking money out of. It was like I need you to take out a loan if they didn't have the money. I need you to take out a loan. Oh, they would take out. They would take out loans. That's for him. what's crazy. I'm like, y'all, loans? come on now. Loans, ladies. It's not even out of your literal debit account. It's you're taking out loans, loans. for him. See, that's crazy. These, also, these women, I, I don't, I could be wrong, but they sound desperate to me. If you're could be willing to Absolutely. take out a six figure loan for someone that you're not married to and that you're not engaged to and that you clearly haven't known for that long, that you clearly don't know for very, he's praying. Well. Very That's well. why I say he's preying on vulnerable people, vulnerable yeah. people. Who, want, who are looking for that kind of love connection. Oh, but also, like the security sad. guard thing, too. Say that again. The security guard, like he had a security guard that was him that was like essentially like his security guard, but he would like send women videos and photos of him and like all beat up, like, oh my God, thank God, like I had him here because like I was like in a fight situation because I'm so important. He would like do this, like, I'm a billionaire, I'm a rich person, like I have security with me at all times. He's like, look at how tore up he is because people know me. So they would like, so he would really feed into this fantasy of like, oh, I'm a billionaire, like I'm important, I'm like amazing. Isn't that wild? It's, crazy and he's still to this day still trying to con people to this day right it now it kind of reminds me of the guy that put on the fry festival not that he conned women but the he fry was festival? the you, fire festival oh, oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah i'm sorry fire festival i'm like which fry festival are we talking about exactly <laughs> did like we go french, to this? Which fry french fry festival fries. and i wasn't there when the fuck did we get ice cream <laughs> yeah i wish there was a fry <laughs> festival Me's fucking too. that sounds delicious mm -hmm. but anyways that festival, guy was yeah. just like a con man through and through like that's what he did just cons the shit out of people yeah, i just don't get how people are like that like how they're born like I don't either, and it seems like it's an addictive thing in a way. Yeah, it's like they could probably get a high off of like swindling someone. Probably. Yeah, the word swindler is like such a fun word. Swindler. swindler. I'm swindling. Swiper no swindling. Um. All right. Next up, Kanye follows Pete Davidson's in Instagram account for what? For what? For what? Get out of there! Like, there's no point. Like, I saw like he had like listed like a bunch of people like <laughs> like people he has beef with. Why well, was Peppa Pig? <laughs> <laughs> Why was Peppa Pig one of the people he was beefing with? I'm done. What is Peppa have Pig? I have questions. Honestly, you guys, like, Kanye's been going crazy on his Instagram recently. Yeah. I'm talking, like, posting, recently. like, like 10 times, 15 times a day. And then deleting it all. And deleting it all. Like, yeah. going absolutely buck wild. Buck wild. Well, according like, to him, he's fighting for his family. Yes, yes. Wait, guys, I kind of ran. The truck full of flowers for Kim. <gasps> a truck. I didn't hear about this. He like got like he was like oh like still fighting for you kind of thing. He literally had like an entire truck filled with roses. I feel like what Kim is looking for is less. Yep. And he's giving more, 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 more. He's doing the most. The most, and she wants less. Like she wants to wear Vans and a sweatshirt and get ice cream. Yeah. She wants to go see a movie. She wants chill life. She wants a chill life. She's literally I don't said think it. Kanye has that within him. I don't, I don't think, think so he has chill. There's no chill. Blood. It's not. Yeah. And that's okay. Like he wanted to be the president. So let's, let's rewind to that. Do you think someone that wants to be the president wants a chill life? That's no. true. No. And you know what? That's okay, but you have to find a person that wants, like, everything like totally. that But I you. also feel like at the same time, too, he was probably that person when they met. Definitely. I think she kind of was, too, to an extent. She kind of outgrew that. Yeah, maybe yeah, she wanted that. Kids. Maybe she wanted that, Well, she had four like, kids, so now yeah. she's like, I want a fucking normal life. She wants to chill. Yeah. Like, she's probably like, okay, I'm tired of these kids. Like, I want to, yeah. like, relax. Yeah. And not be like, go, 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 going all the time. Even though she does, she's still, like, a, such a hustler. Yeah. But, like, she still probably wants to have a more chill downtime life, too. Right. And Pete, I feel like, is the epitome of chill downtime. He is the epitome. He's the epitome of, like, chill and look who she's downtime. going for now. And the fact that he got like all his sisters, like her sister's roses and stuff like that. I didn't know. Or like that. got Wait, him all tell. Valentine's, like <gasps> like flowers and all that stuff. He like got him for everyone, like all the sisters. Funny guys always win. They do. That's how Ty won my heart. Even when they're not that cute, they're I'm really funny. No, 
I don't think Pete's ugly as fuck. I, yeah, I was just trying to shade Tyler. Ow. It didn't work. Ow. She was I didn't work. It doesn't work. I'm like, even when they're not cute. Oh, I didn't even hear that. I'm so sorry. I'm an idiot. But um, Ty and me have the same sense of humor. And we always have. And we've always enjoyed like the same movies. That's how so Laura same. gets her sense of humor. It's from me. Oh, the Tinder swindler is back. You're about to get wrecked. <laughs> You're about to get fucking I give, okay, let me tell you something. I give my sense of humor, like, this much of it to my brother. And it mm. comes from him because, one, he likes all those things that we like that are really stupid comedies and that. That's where I learned to like that was yeah. from going in his like room, guy, stealing all, all, yep, all stuff. of his DVDs and VHSs yeah. and watching what he watched because he was six years older than to me. So, naturally, you know, you kind of, like, look up You're cool, yeah. yeah. Okay, wait, guys. I have a kind of funny story that came up on my TikTok, and I think you'll gag. Wait, what? Wait, So should we go on a break first? Let's go oh, on a break, yes, and when we yes. come back, you guys have to hear this. Thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, so Adam and Eve is basically a website you guys can go to when they have literally anything you might need for sexual desires. Ooh, so they would have like literally anything like lingerie, toys. They have movies, home movies, things like that. They have everything you can possibly potentially need when it comes to the sex life, spicing it up in the bedroom. You know, on full coverage, we are sex positive over here. So it's just a really, really cool website you guys can go to if you guys want to experience different things. And more than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easier easy they offer discreet shipping as your privacy is a priority plus free shipping on your entire order doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy all will be packaged and sent discreetly for free but before you go there make sure you hear out our special deal with adam and eve yeah we love a special deal in this house we love special deals thank you to adam and eve for this one just enter offer code FULL at checkout and you'll get 50% off almost any item. Go check out at adamandeve.com today. Select one item and get 50% off, including free shipping when you enter offer code FULL. That's F-O-O-L, FULL, at adamandeve.com. Thank you so much to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of full, full Coverage. coverage. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. We are huge fans of BetterHelp over here on Full Coverage. Basically, guys, what BetterHelp is, it's a website you guys can go to for professional help, professional therapy, professional things like that. It's such a great site, guys. Be sure and check it out. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. Therapy is not gonna work for everyone yeah. in person, but why not at least try a little portion of it just to see if you might like therapy and doing that through BetterHelp is such a great way of doing it. I think it's so cool. They have a special deal for you guys. We love special deals, you guys. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and full coverage with Manny Way and Lord Lee. Woo. Listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash full coverage. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash full coverage. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. With HelloFresh, you get fresh farm pre-portioned ingredients with seasons recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make at-home cooking fun and easy. Plus, it's affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. I also just love the fact that they literally deliver pre-portioned ingredients to your door. Yeah, Which I think is really, really amazing. Especially because like, I'm not a grocery store person. I'm not. I never will be, no. I don't think. So the fact that we have HelloFresh here that I absolutely love that delivers it to your door makes it literally a million times easier. Yes, and it's 72% cheaper than eating at a restaurant. And you get a better quality meal. Also, me and Ty do it all the time it's actually kind of taught me how to cook because the instructions are so easy and mm. laid out so now I, I knew that actually i've been at your house and i feel like you made one of the, the meals before they're so good uh -huh, uh -huh. yes they actually have a deal for you guys go to hellofresh.com slash full 16 and use code full 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts go to hellofresh.com slash full 16 and use code full 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts don't forget that's america's number one meal kit period and we're back and I'm going to tell a story. Please tell a story because I'm, I'm so intrigued now. Okay, so I'm scrolling through TikTok and this video pop, pops up with Snooki. I love Snooki. And I'm like, mm -hmm. ooh, and it's Khloe Kardashian. So I think Khloe Kardashian kind of had a little talk show. 
Oh, okay. And Snooki okay. came on the show. And Snooki goes on the show and literally calls her out and was like, you're so rude. On the show? On the show, on the air. With this Chloe, air, like, with her. Right there in the room. Mm. And Chloe's, like, covering her mouth. She's like, what, what do you mean? Like, Chloe's like, about? what the fuck are you talking about? Because this shit aired. And she was like, I was good friends with your sister, Kim, which, by the way. Oh, she she starts it. She goes, by the way, I was a big fan of you. That's how Snooki started the oh, show. Oh, my God. And so it's like, oh, I can't believe Snooki did this, by the when way. When you start off with, I was such a fan. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so she's like, I was really good friends, or is re- I am really good friends with your sister, Kim, and uh-huh. I love her so much, and I was at her house hanging out, and I loved you so much, and loved. was a big fan. Loved. Was a big fan of you, and Kim goes, she lives like right on the street, I'm going to take you over to go see her. So Kim brings her in the house and Chloe's turned around and then she's like, Chloe, Chloe, look who's here. Chloe turns around, looks at Snooki and Snooki is telling Chloe this story and goes, what the fuck is she doing here to Snooki's face in the house? And Snooki's literally telling Chloe this on the air and she covers her mouth. She's Did like, Chloe forget oh. this happened? I guess like, I'm going to tell you something. Happened? I have never in my life looked a human being in the face and said, what the fuck are they doing here? I would never. In my and life. if I did do that, I promise you, I would never forget it. So maybe she thought Snooki just kind of bypassed it because she's Khloe Kardashian. So it's kind of like give her a pass. That's Got it. evil as fuck. It's evil as it's fuck. So, like, it's that crazy. Is, that is That's evil. dark. That's dark. It's dark. And so she goes, you said that to me and told me that I needed to leave your house. And so Chloe's like covering her mouth. She doesn't know what to say. She's like fumbling, she, fumbling. And then she goes, oh, my God, maybe I, my Chloe money personality came out. I'm so sorry. And maybe my alter ego came out. And I feel like you were stealing the attention or something. And Snooki goes, no one there was paying attention to me. No one there was looking at me. You just said that to me. And this is on Chloe's show. And I am dead. Yeah. The fact that like she let that air. Yeah, she let it air and and, and Snooki wasn't backing down and giving her any excuses either. She was like, You're so mean. It was crazy. What the, what, How what did, did we she not know the know Chloe money wh- thing? What the fuck? I, I was like, you had to pull that out of your ass. Like, what do you that mean? That was out of nowhere. What do you have an alter ego where you fucking. She's like, oh, I, I I just like, you know, it just comes out sometimes. Which like, ma- which I'll be honest, like, I still like Chloe. I think she makes yeah. dumb decisions. Who doesn't? I've made dumb, dumb decisions. But at the end of the day, like, I am a forgiving person, kind of. But like, she makes like. <laughs> I'm like. I forget, baby. I don't forget nothing. She don't forget nothing. She is a vault. I'm a the vault, vault of doom. Honey. She will open don't that ever vault say, whenever she needs yeah, to. Don't mm-hmm. ever say to me, what have I ever done to you? Because, baby. You'll live. Jesus. And I'll tell them, you know what? I'll be like, Laura, what did they do to me again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, let me tell I'm like, Laura, Laura, you. What did they do again? Let me tell you why you know like, okay. I'm like, oh, yeah. 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 I don't fucking like you. Because I'd be forgetting. Yep. That's me. I'm the vault. Mm-hmm. Snooki's the vault. Well, I would never forget some a celebrity I mean, treatment. That would be My like God, really that would be scarred. But also, like the fact, that, like first of all, your sister brought him over. It's not like it's like she appeared in the house <laughs> out of literally thin air. Right. She was brought by like your closest sister, literally, Kim. literally. So I'm like, wait, how? Like, how did this even happen? Like, how did that happen? You know what's really cool? Like Kim's obviously, I think, the most famous out of all of them. I would say, and mm-hmm. I and kind of like kind of blew that family up. Yeah. Um, I've never heard a story about Kim like that before. Never. And I, we've met Kim, several Multiple people times. have, and I've never heard, an, I just see, haven't, always I've professional. never heard negativity about her like that. And even when like, I don't know, like I've DM Kim before and she's mm-hmm. DM me back. Same. And I'm like, I promise you, Kim has way more important things to do than DM me. I promise you she does. And totally. I promise you, I could DM some influencers that wouldn't even respond or, respond bad, or bad an eye. I mean, it's happened to you. Yeah. It literally happened. Totally. It's like shocking. It's like, oh, okay. So it's like cool because in this situation, it makes Kim really cool. Everybody pretty much loves her right now, especially. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's got a lot of love happening. And she's going like through a, a lot online. And Chloe's a fucking dick. Even though that Dude, happened a long insane. time ago, but my God. I'm honestly really shocked by that. I, like, I, I have to give props to Snooki, though, for like even bringing that up to someone's Dude, attention. Dude, she's got balls. Because that takes some balls on someone else's show. Yeah. And, I'm to, like, That's brave. and to stand your ground and respect yourself not to let a person get away with treating yes, you like that. Yes. It empowered me. I was like, damn, I never would have done that. Maybe I should think twice I would, about it. I honestly can guarantee you I would never do that. Yeah, no way. Because I'm too shy. You know what I would have done is she asked me to come on the show. I would have had my manager or agent write her and tell her why I am not coming on That's the show. Exactly what That's I what I would have done. But Snooki said, we're about to handle this. She's like, yeah, I would love to come on. 
<laughs> she was like, she's like, sure. Let's do this. I'm going to make this a press moment. Actually. Yeah, this is great. That is insane. Okay. Um, so, oh, okay. So we have one more. Ooh. Jake Paul. Oh, yeah. Little Yachty. And Soja Boy. Oh, wow. They got in like this like crypto scam. I really like Soja Boy and Little Yachty. <laughs> and not Jake Paul? I ain't got no beef with Jake Paul. No, you're right. You no, know? I have beef with I him. I could give or take him, but I have he enjoyed- He did go in his last fight. Oh, did he? He, he did did did, apparently he does good on a lot of his fights. Yeah, he did a good job. But yeah, apparently they were all like involved in like this crypto scam where like they're all getting sued for this like, how did it's it- It's called a pump and dump. Tyler, break it down. Tyler, break it's, it down in the NFT crypto world. It is where it's the same thing like that you can do it in stocks too, oh, but okay. you you basically you buy in when it's really low, mm -hmm. and then it, it happens with people who have influence. So like you guys could do a pump and dump. You could be like, guys, this is the best stock ever. This is the best crypto ever. And then when people buy into it, you just sell yours and you made double, triple, quadruple. So you put all your money in. Isn't when that what it, stock you, market is? Yeah, that's what stock market is. But a, a pump and dump is when you're just going to drive that stock up so you can make money and then sell it. And then it crashes because everybody's because you have such a big chunk in it. Right. That when you sell it, it goes way down and then everybody else starts selling and then everybody loses their money except for you. So you fuck everybody out of their money and then you get rich. Yeah. Is that like illegal? Uh, I, I, I think it's like frowned upon. Yeah, I'm Wait, not they're sure. They're getting sued, so there has to I'm be not sure the legal. There's, there's probably some sort of legalities to I it. I know someone else just got in trouble for doing that. It seems that. very ethically wrong. Yeah, yeah. It, it sounds like yeah. to me. There's I'm some like, other YouTubers you to, like, that got in trouble up, for it. Yeah, I remember seeing something like, like that. A few for you to ago. hype up something and then just to sell it for your, about, your followers to buy into it, like that seems like you're being sketchy to your followers. Like, you're literally like. It's different Fucking when you're like over, you're literally. selling them product. Oh, like way different. You're you're getting to them to invest into something so you can take their money from them and then they lose it all. That's like seems that's, crazy to me. I'm it seems about, literally that's dark. That's the worst motherfucking karma you ever. How could you take someone's money and okay, then but for nothing? For nothing? Especially somebody like Jake Paul who has millions. Forty million. Forty million last 40 year. Forty million last year. I mean, I'm sure he probably spent forty million too. He seems like a He's, spending kind of. He's like of, a spender for sure. But the thing is, like, if you are earning so much like that i think it becomes like to a point where it gets like a greedy status though yeah because people like, once they make so much money they're like oh i want more yeah, yeah it's like it's almost like this gluttonous well then go do a motherfucking boxing match don't rob innocent people of their money I know, ass I know. Head. no literally with but with all of them like all of them the same thing i wonder if it's like they all invested in a company and the company did it or something happened i don't know could have i don't know but i I'm would like, hope it wouldn't be that but come on how else did they hype it up that's what i'm saying so like they invest in this company all of them hype it up and they all sell it and like the company Gets fucked over too. They all do. Yeah. Maybe. But I want to know. Mm. All more information. But yeah, they're getting sued for it. So but I think ethically it's terrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Like I think that that's guys, absolutely not okay. Guys, be careful what you're doing. Also, you guys, be when it comes to like, the crypto stuff, like you guys have to be so careful because it can be very, very confusing. Investing it can be in very, general. It's in general. Yeah, it, don't go based off of the hype. No. That's People, Tyler's that's number one rule. Money. It's true. When you jump on like, especially like the hyped up cryptos, things like that. The monkey photos, the NFTs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Those are worth a lot of money. Now, no, but, that's what, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. they're, because, because they're but hyped up. But again, that's though. hype. You just never know. It might, those got hyped up and look at them. They're, they stayed up. They're, yeah. But what if they they're really suddenly expensive. dropped? Who knows? Then it's might. like, oh, okay, well, darn. I mean, which is, I guess, technically in everything, in any investment you can possibly have. Yeah. There's but a risk still, like, to every careful. investment. Yeah. You there just have to be is. careful with that. This is not investment advice, guys. Do you, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. I do wonder, you know, how people say with like crypto, it's like bad for the environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how? They, I do cause wonder. Because the mining, it takes like computers take energy. So like it's, oh. just, it's wasting power. For something that's not tangible and does not exist. It's just wasting power and energy. I truly didn't understand like why. Because it's not a necessity for humans it, to have crypto. It's like a right. new. It's like you should it, see the crypto farms. Wondered. Look up the crypto farms. There's like buildings with just like rows and rows of like computers. And, no. Yeah. And they just take up like they have to have fans cooling them. They're coming up with like different ways. Like they're using like injectable like water to cool some of them now. Like mm. they have different systems that are getting better. But He's a book of knowledge. It better, it better not be a fucking drinking water. Ty is a book of knowledge. <laughs> you are a wealth. A, yeah. a, an overflowing wealth he of knowledge. Is. Just 
random nonsense. Random. Of That's course. not random nonsense, in my opinion. That's like pretty crucial. What's actually kind of what happening right now? Yeah, what's happening but, like, right I, now? I did. I always wondered um, what it was. That's what it's. And so that's about. what so it's it not is. Like the environment, the wasting. power, and yeah. all that's the resources. Insane. Well, too with like the Teslas and all. They're like you're saving the environment, but you're not because to mine these batteries that they're putting in the Teslas. Yeah, but yeah. it's better than using gasoline. The gasoline. Though. So it's still better, and they're gonna get better at making those. Yeah. So it's just like constantly going in the right direction, like getting yeah, better. But like exactly. the whole point of crypto is like that. There's no point. Yeah. The whole point is that there's no point because there's nothing. Well, tangible. eventually, like certain cryptos, you won't be able to mine anymore. Like they run out of like the mining and the amount of coins that are in it, or the amount of coins that are in it. And then Got it. other kinds of cryptos you can mine forever. There's no limit to it. So what's mining? Are you just creating currency? Yeah, it's or creating like that blockchain that like yeah. behind the scenes coding for yeah, crypto it's creating thing. more mm -hmm. coins. Got it. That's so wild. Mm -hmm. Wild. So that's what it's for, huh? Mm -hmm. I didn't ever knew that part. Yep. And I the only reason just to say that I know any of this is because he's already told me this information. Right. And that's like, the okay. only reason. Got, got, Not because I got knew it. it on my own. <laughs> Imagine. I was like, wow. <laughs> no. Wow, Laura. I oh. spend my What's he, your Twitter feed look like? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah. <set. laughs> I spend my time obviously working on everything and then he spends a lot of his time doing behind the scenes on the brands and investments 100 mm -hmm. i love that that's yep. ama amazing and that's our duo and it's perfect and it's a good it's the perfect storm together <laughs> forever. Forever. best friends me and ty have been together for did we say 12 years uh, since we started dating yeah when we started dating in february 2008 baby so we said 12 years? 13. Is that 13 now? 14. We started dating 14? in February. 2022. We started dating in February uh, 2008. So what's that mean? That's four, 14 years. Yeah. Uh, I lost two years in there. <laughs> 14 two years, years we've been together. 14. That's literally that's, half my lifetime. I was about to say that's and almost half, half, half of our lives. That's almost half of our lives. We've been together for almost half of our life. You're not 28, baby chill out <laughs> and do you want to know it's crazy that's half my life minus <laughs> uh, over half it. of my life i can't believe you and you know what's <laughs> crazy me. i literally texted him yesterday and while he was at the golf thing and i said you're not spending enough time oh with my me God. <laughs> you did it. Yes. She, after i spent two days in a row not leaving her side and she's going to the casey musgraves concert mm. later that night i went to go do a little golf thing <laughs> He was, was gone, gone the entire day. I was gone day. for a few hours. No, and the whole day. I get a text. The whole day. The whole day. The whole day. I get a text telling me that I don't spend enough time with her. I want more time. After I spent two whole days with you. <laughs> wait, so wait, how did you say it? It was literally just like a random text. You're like, I don't think they No, she said, you. you need to pick a weekend and spend the entire weekend with me. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Look, Manny, I'm with her the entire week. <laughs> but we work. And then most weekends, yeah. you know what I'll do? I'll go golf for a few hours on no. a Saturday. Okay, let's go back to a few hours. It's not a few hours. It's like I get up. I get up. Half I get up at the ass crack of dawn before she wakes up. Oh. No. Multiple he gets hours home before she two wakes or up. Three. No, I usually. So in the what time did I get we'll home? Together, what so time did I get home last time I got? That's because I chewed your ass out. Now, no, I was like, you I, better come back. I swear to God, I was home by noon on thursday <gasps> that's early that's good i know yeah i get it's good i don't get lonely because i honestly you know i you, you love your lonely me. time i love being alone but i i'm too attached to him it's the attached attached i'm really yep. attached to him well, also how could you not be it's like part of your life for half of your half life it's like you're missing Thank your you. arm okay that's what but it's, it's like. nice to miss someone well, also, i yeah, do I this do. is big to harker founder too so that right. does help but you're also the problem is you have trips planned in the future like an upcoming he has a bunch okay. of shit planned so i know and? so this is the thing i said okay this weekend he didn't take off golf next weekend he's going on a trip the next weekend he's gone the whole weekend on mm -hmm. a trip so i'm like are you guys really one weekend with me yeah. dude we have weeks but you're working. working throughout the week. But we, oh, we but then you guys should go to dinners and do cute stuff too. No, I want to spend more time. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> We're literally I'm spending time I know, right I'm now. I'm too much. Quality time. This is quality I time. I know, I'm too much. Let's straight out. We're airing out our dirty I'm your laundry. Therapist. It's okay. This is I'm, a therapy. I'm literally here for your therapy. I, I have a health science degree, so I'm here for it. How do you turn it? Oh, I like this. This looks cute. Uh, that looks fucking cute. This gives me Co Coachella vibes. 100%. I'm going to wear this hat to Coachella. Don't you dare. Yeah, I want you to lose it too. I don't know if I'm going to go this year, guys. I don't know either. It feels stressful to me. 
Oh my god, it's lighting <laughs> it up. Lights up. <laughs> Why the, did you do that light up yesterday? No, uh, no she did I not. forgot it did though. Can y'all see that on camera? I don't think they can. This reminds no, they me. Totally okay, can. man, no. you know, you know the the guy that he had the things here and it goes. <laughs> you know on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Billy Porter, yeah. like that's <laughs> literally. I know exactly what you're talking about. Daniel that's sent me genius. a picture of him and said, "This is what we're all wearing to, Co to Casey." And I'm like, "I'm wearing to Casey. <laughs> Where are you guys' costumes?" You're like, no, I literally am wearing this. Casey. I was like, "Oh, I thought we were you. You, you thought, thought I was kidding? Yeah. No, 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 that's no, what no, we're wearing. No. Concerts and festival. I don't play. No, you don't, and I love that. I don't. It's fun for me though. It's fun. It's also like just fun to not be in your same get up in your same garb yep so you know I mean? i'm gonna force us here on full coverage to get a little crazy maybe we should maybe we, we should do costumes? more like cute i'm down i'm always yeah, looking for an excuse to wear dress up yes literally this is like what we do it's like it's work but it's fun yeah so it's like why not like make it even more fun you know what someone told me and it really resonated with me Whoa. they said you can never be overdressed but you can definitely be underdressed you literally told me that yesterday <gasps> he said what should i wear to this and it because it was the first golf it's tournament true. i ever been to so i was like do i dress like a golfer what do i wear and i looked mm -hmm. at him i said well i'll tell you this you can be underdressed but you can never be overdressed so dress she said sharp. let me tell you this thing that i just made up in my head right now no that i've never heard you before in my never. life <laughs> <laughs> In, in my, my life. 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 I'm going to talk like this from now on. <laughs> I'm going to talk like this for Anytime the Anytime she life. drops wisdom on me, it's a country accent. It's I country. try so hard to not talk like that. Like super country. On. But then the hat. Yep. And it's just I over. lose all control. I do too. If this podcast was filmed in Alabama. It's over. It's oh my God. Oh, It'd be over. I, over. Even I, I think would pick up an accent. I'm not even kidding. You would. I would. I know That's I would. That's how it goes. Yeah. All right. Well, is that it? Yeah. I think, that's <laughs> it. I think that is it for today's rabbit fire. We just love you guys. Your boy's got to go. I got to go finish packing. Man, he's got to pack. He's got to go to London. I'm so excited for him. Thank you. I'm so excited. It's going to be really, really fun. It I is. actually will say that I'm a little scared to go because I've never gone that far by myself. I've gone to London by myself. But you've Have been you? to London, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, I, I went London. to London for a week by myself. So, she did. well, really? I was with a brand, but I was by myself and it wasn't but flying like, there, were you by yourself? Uh huh. That's I'm, I'm, I'm like flying there by myself. I I'm flew like, by myself. Laura got left in London one time. I got that's left by myself. Another, that's, a, that's, that's another, another podcast. That's another that podcast. You want to talk about panic? No, we have to talk about that in the next one. A stranger in London saved my ass. Not we'll me talk getting about phone calls at four no, o'clock in the no, morning. No, don't tell the story. We have to tell the next one. Next uh, one. Next it's like time. a good story. It is a good story. It's a good story. Okay, guys, we love you so much. Have a great rest of the day, partner. Catch you on the flippity flop. Comment. And rate. And rate. Bye, guys. Your favorite podcast ever. Later. We love you, babes.